All right, YouTube, so here I am in my usual filming spot. As you can see, it is a very bright and sunny day out based on the lighting, but um, yeah, very soon I'll be seeing the bike riders and later on in this video, I'll be doing a review of it. But before I go see the movie, I gotta say that I'm fairly excited, not super excited, because you know, I haven't followed much of this movie beforehand, which has been a common theme with a lot of movies, but supposedly, um, yeah, that's that. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this movie. I think it'll be super cool. So let's go see it and I'll report back soon. All right, YouTube, so now I'm ready to rock and roll. But before I do, I want to shine a light on something really important for this channel. So as some of you, most of you probably don't remember, before I had this channel, I had another Jones Beach channel. And the primary purpose of that channel was to upload Lego animated movies, particularly based on DC Comics and Batman, which I'm still hoping to get some of those out eventually. But who knows, but um, I know at that time doing vlogs seemed like, you know, such a scary and almost impossible thing, but here I am now, so I just want to say give myself a quick shout out to that, and now I'm going to go to the movie and enjoy it, and hopefully enjoy it at least, and report back with the review, so stay tuned. Okay, so I just got back from the movie, and this is going to be a spoiler-free review. I forgot to mention that at the start of this vlog, but I'm saying it now, but I will say that I really like this movie. It honestly exceeded my expectations. Um, like I mentioned, I didn't have super high expectations, so granted that's probably a good thing because it wouldn't lead to disappointment of the movie, but it definitely exceeded my reasonable expectations. I really like the movie, so I'll get into a little more spoiler-free details in just a moment. So I thought the movie was very badass, and I really liked the visuals and the overall aesthetic of the movie. Because I don't know if you guys remember or not, but when I made the movies I'm looking forward to this summer, this was of course on that list. and. Something I think I mentioned in that video was how I'm a big fan of leather jackets, which, you know, are definitely featured a lot in this movie, seeing as, as well, bikers. And the main characters portrayed by Austin Butler and Tom Hardy were both very cool and badass characters. I really liked both of them. Um, I kind of got a uh, Dune 2 character. I'm blanking on Austin Butler's character in that movie's name, but the point is the Rip Ball guy from Dune 2 kind of reminded me of Austin Butler's character here in this. Who was named uh, Benny, if I'm remembering correctly. Sorry, I forget characters' names quickly. But yeah, Tom Hardy's character was named Johnny, and Johnny was very cool and the leader of the biker club. Now, I sincerely doubt they'll make a sequel to this movie or a prequel or any other kind of continuations or variations of this movie, but to be honest, I think this is one of those movies that really just works on a standalone movie and kind of just works on the movie being exists uh, I cannot speak properly it works as a movie that exists in a vacuum if that makes any sense so yeah overall the bike riders definitely exceeded my expectations so two thumbs up for me I'd give another thumbs up but I'm holding using my other hand to hold the camera but um yeah that was tonight's late night review um after this vlog I'll we'll be going on a mini hiatus because I'm not taking a little bit of a YouTube vacation to recharge my battery, so stay tuned for a vlog later in the month, if not start of July, so yeah, look forward to that, love the bike riders, thank you all so much for watching, stay tuned for more soon, goodbye.